the c63 is poorly and we're on the second channel we're going to do a second channel fix which means i'm going to go and edit the main channel video on the mclaren and my dad and matt behind the camera are going to fix the problem with the mercedes there is a few problems and things which need touching up on this like little scratches and stuff all needs like finishing off it's sort of a really long ongoing build but there is a, an ongoing issue which is stopping me from driving this thing one the battery's flat at the minute but there's an issue with the gearbox we're hoping it's going to be fixed cheaply if it's not going to be fixed cheaply then it's going to be expensively let me go and put the jumper on it that looks very condensation -y. this has got one of the best cold starts out of all of my cars but i haven't started this up since four or five months and it's been outside the whole time will it start well you're about to find out don't skip forward because you're gonna miss the best cold start in the world how was that deja vu when we filmed the maserati video it is except for there was Wet ice battery. in the boot yeah, there was, yeah. <laughs> right cold start time Arguably one of the best sounding engines you can buy. It is a beast, isn't it? Like, yeah. why they stopped doing it? Well, actually, I can see why they stopped doing this because all the Karens would have been like, it's too loud! <laughs> <laughs> Put turbos on it and take two cylinders out. And, uh, well, they took more than that out in the C63 now, haven't they? Oh, yeah, it's four cylinder. Yeah, four cylinder, two litre turbo. <laughs> Let me show you the problem. <laughs> Just thinking, do you know, everything in front is about to get hit. As soon as I, well, I'm gonna try and get it in neutral. Right. And you'll see why I'm gonna try and move it really fast. I'm in neutral, okay? Right. Everything's fine and done there. Now if I, my dad's really in the wrong place now. Your dad needs to move. <laughs> <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> okay, so what's going to happen, as soon as I put it into drive, yep. it will drive. Okay. But no. <laughs> what? <laughs> and then it stalls. What did you do? So I put my foot on the brake, yeah, and then it will stall. So I, I, could, I can drive... So it will go into drive and I'll let it will, it will happily pull me along. It'll be fine. But as soon as I put my foot on the brake, it's like it's, it's if, you, if you're driving a manual and you brake without putting your foot on the clutch, it's exactly the same thing here. Now, I think it's got something to do. It's got a torque converter in this. I think it's got something to do with that. And I've not changed the oil. So we're going to try that first, I think. Well, we're going to let my dad do that. Okay, we cannot stop. I like your dad's idea, driving and then throwing it into neutral. Yeah, 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 I think that's a good idea. Ready? <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm <laughs> in mean, neutral, it worked, it worked, okay, it okay. worked. <laughs> oh, no. Can you go into reverse? Yeah, but full speed. Oh, oh no, it's stolen. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Okay, the battery pack is still connected on, so it should start off again. I'm so scared of the Range Rover. It's literally just behind. And the Ferrari. This is a, an expensive reversing manoeuvre. <laughs> Your clutch control is shocking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it does not Should we just get out and push? Yeah, it might have to. Sick, it? Do you like it? Great. Right. When I come back, it's going to be fixed. I'm going to drive it and do some drifts. Anyway. Yeah. Last time he left a car with us, <laughs> yeah. we broke it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't feel confident we're going to fix this one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Round one. Off the floor. <laughs> Do you have any idea what we're doing today? No, none. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just show you what England does. So England. all of this, all of these were brand new when I put them on. Tie rod, uh, arms, everything. And look, and look, I barely had it and it's gone like that. That's England. Salt. Do you know what the answer to that is? 
<laughs> Move to Florida. <laughs> First bolt, second bolt, third bolt. I've, I've lost count of bolts now. Should we make it up? What Ten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> First tray off. I'm not, I'm not a Mercedes fan. Although I have been looking to replace my car with a Mercedes. <laughs> do, do you know your favourite car? What's your favourite car? My favourite? Uh, Aston Martin. And what, what are those? They're um, half the stage. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I don't know why Matt bought that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look and see what colour this is. Should be red. And it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> very bad gearbox. <laughs> gearbox very bad. That is bad. We can only cross our fingers and hope that it's going to fix it. He's literally left us with no instructions, no parts. Yeah. And just said, here you go, fix the hat. <laughs> Which we love. <laughs> Last time we tried to fix a car was the Murcielago and we broke it. You broke it? No, no, no. We broke it. Okay, we broke it. Yeah, we did break it. Yeah. Are we going to prank him again? No. No? No more pranks. Have we learned no our lesson? Pranks. Yeah. No more pranks that, we, that we're going to um, admit to. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to take the sump off. There's only a few bolts in it, actually. Six bolts, that's all there is. Is this going to make um, a mess when it comes off? It might drip a few little drips here and there, but nothing... Nothing major. Is that supposed to happen? Why did it not come out of some? A sump? Unless that's got a tube. So the tube goes up so it, you can't drain all the oil out of it. Why would you want a sump bung in, in a sump when you can't drain the, all the oil out of the sump? That's just like crazy, isn't it? What's that like? Let's have think of an example. That's like having a plug in your sink and you want to empty the water in your sink. And then... Yeah, and it don't all come out. That you got half full sink. <laughs> <laughs> this is got. This is all. This is going to be full of oil. Sadies are going to say, "Ah, but there is a special way how you drain it." All oh, right. <laughs> are you about to make a massive mess? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> the whole thing was full. Yeah. What, what does that plug even do? Look, there's, there's the, the tube. There's a tube going up. You could knock that tube off, maybe, from underneath, but obviously then it's going to just drop in the sun, isn't it? I'm going to say this. See those there? Mr. Cameraman, they're magnets. Right. So any metal debris that floats around in the gearbox gets collected on these magnets. That's quite clever. Well, it's not Mercedes cleverness because they're in a lot of gearboxes. <laughs> Just hating on Mercedes, man. Dab on the haters. Dab on the haters, yeah. <laughs> so this is what we've got to change, this uh, filter. And it looks like it just pulls off. Oh. oh my. So you think that's the reason why the gearbox isn't working? No. <laughs> Matt does. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's got something to do with the oil being not changed because it's that is definitely not the colour it's supposed to be. So now we've got to wait for parts, is that correct? Yeah. It's a bit slow, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh, he's just completely missed it. Oh, there's the wall. <laughs> I thought you said the car was a bit slow. Oh yeah, somebody just stowed me in the back end. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, he's got that tire, he's got it. No, it is. Oh, what's up with it then? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 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 Look at it, it's all over the place. You're getting gapped again. Yeah, we're, yeah. No. <laughs> Maybe we should go back to yeah, the car. Go back. <laughs> <laughs> Got the bars. Don't know whether they work anymore. <laughs> but guess what? Do you know before I get the parts out? What? Gotta put my new hat on. 
You don't like Mercedes? But they're free. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> How do we look? We look professional. It's going to ruin the curls. And then our other job, what we've got to change. Oil level sensor for the engine, not the gearbox. But in order to fit that, we've got to set the sump off again. Well, the engine sump off, not, not again. Sounds like we're going to make more mess. Yeah. Somebody told me there was this bung in the torque converter that you can drain the oil out the torque converter. Was he telling the so, truth? Well, if he was telling the truth, this one ain't got one. Right, OK. <laughs> that means that you're only going to be able to sort of like change half the oil because the other half will be in the torque converter. Well, what I'd suggest would be, would be change the oil, run it, change the oil again. Old filter. <laughs> yeah. New filter. Oh, that's it. Done. I could that have, easy. I could have done that. Yeah, do you want to do it? Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> do you think Lewis Hamilton's daily drive is a Mercedes? No. Well, no, it was that Pagani, wasn't it? That he crashed. <laughs> Seals on. Nice and clean in there, lot. Beautiful and clean. No muck at all. Why do you need to replace this? I do not know. Clipped into place. Will it fit on? There we go. Okay. All reassembled. Sump's on. No oil in it yet, though. Now we're going to go on to the next job, which is the oil level sensor, which is in the sump. Engine sump. Look how small that little engine sump is. And I've got a nice clean bucket because Matthew wants me to save the oil because he said it's good. Go. Oh, the oil's all right. Is it? Uh, it's a lot better than the gearbox oil. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Let's just uh, waste a minute of the video watching the oil come out. <laughs> 15 seconds. <laughs> Can you believe there's a little tiny sump there? How small that sump is. And Mercedes have put 15 bolts in it. 15 bolts for that. I don't think you should be uh, filming this bit. Why? Because this ain't the way you take them off. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No mess so far. Oh. oh. <laughs> yes! Sump off. No water in it. No con rods in it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're changing the oil level sensor, which is in here. Which that's, that's what it plugs onto it. But in order to get it out, I think we're going to have to remove this. But I don't know whether you can remove it by just undoing the one bolt there. And if you can't remove it, then you're just going to have to wriggle it past a little space. That doesn't look like no, it's coming out. No, it doesn't look like it's coming out, does it? <laughs> <laughs> See that bolt there in there, the one that's coming down? Yeah. Well, you have to get it out with that little, and then just struggle with this spanner. Yeah. One bolt, but there's two more. The boss has spoken and <laughs> he's decided this level sensor isn't worth it because you have to take the whole of this sump off, which means engine out, which is not worth it for an oil level sensor, is what we've decided. But I think what we'll do is first, we'll clean it all up with some electrical cleaner to see whether we can get the old one to register right. Why do we need to change this oil level sensor? Because it says on the dash that it hasn't got any oil in it when it has got oil in it. So if someone was to keep filling it with oil because yeah. they think it's low, then it would be very bad. Oh, yeah. I think it costs them a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Sniff that and you'll be happy for the rest of the evening. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you're always happy? <laughs> Not always happy. Because sometimes I run out of it. <laughs> I am. 
putting ceiling on it. <laughs> You're putting ceiling on it? Yeah. Good England. You have to have a steady hand to make a nice, beautiful pattern. Look at that. Looks like when Matt did the M5. <laughs> no, it doesn't. We're putting this together now because I think it's six o'clock and I want to go home. <laughs> What's going to be your takeaway of choice tonight? Fish and chips. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because I've missed them. Do you have mushy peas or normal peas? Mushy. Mushy. Mushy peas. <laughs> no gravy. No mushy. gravy? No gravy. Curry sauce, though. Some t not with mushy peas. You don't mix them together? No. Oh, you should try it. Have I've, you tried it? I've had mushy peas and curry sauce before. Oh, dear. Yeah, I, I've always thought you were strange. <laughs> wow. Let us know in the comments if you have. <laughs> Discuss. <laughs> Discuss. <laughs> One of the... How much did we say there was in here? 15, I think. 15 bolts. You never do one tight or any tight until you've got them all in first. Did they teach you that at college? No. Never went college. Did you watch YouTube videos? Yeah, and I watch YouTube videos. And always search Matt Armstrong. Did they have YouTube in the 60s? No. No. Didn't have phones then. If someone was to say, <laughs> tell us your favourite story about Matt, what would you say? <laughs> I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when Matt, we went to McDonald's. You got little, little cars, I think it was, that you put stickers on. Yep. And uh, he thought it'd be funny to put one of the stickers in his eye. <laughs> and, then, and then when he went to get it out, it gone round the back of his eye. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I had to do an emergency stop in the car because obviously he was in a bit of pain. <laughs> and we had to go and knock on this lady's door or random lady's door and ask her if we'd get some water so he could wash his wash the, his eye out to get his sticker out and in the end we got it out. What are you doing? I'm doing the sun pot with the 15 little screws that hold it up. Click. Four newton meters that is I think. Oh no, I think it's a bit tighter than that actually. About 10. I didn't hear those click. Didn't you? No. You can get your ear in checked. <laughs> 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 the all important wire. Plugged into place, sub bung, back out. Oh. Oh. Wow. It is working. Look at that. Blue blood. So it's not red. Look at that. It's not red. Blue, bluey green. Turquoise, even. It's the same colour as the car. The oil matches the colour of the car. <laughs> it's paint to sample oil. <laughs> and now it's just the laborious job. Of pumping the oil in. All the oil's in. How many litres was that? Four and a... Nearly four and a half, because it's not all, quite all gone in. When you pull this off, if it continues to come out, um, then it's full up. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's full. Ooh. Yeah, that'll do. Then leave a bit extra in. That's not very good, though, is it? Because that means that only we've only changed two and a half litres of an eight litre capacity gearbox. Now we're almost ready to see if it doesn't stall when you put it in drive. We need to put all this engine oil back into the engine. Oh, Did you just break the handle? Yeah, it just broke. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it whenever we try and fix things, we always end up breaking them? I think it was faulty. Oh yeah, it was the car's fault. Oh, I suppose we broke this as well, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> Is that safe? You're going to get oil <laughs> everywhere. Oh, he's doing well so far. Don't make me laugh. I'll put my serious face on. <laughs> <laughs> all in. Okay. Closing the bonnet down, and then we're going to go and see if it starts. Oh, no. That didn't sound good. Oh, that was not good. Oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> but the, I don't think the oil's got a chance to get 
get round here. Let's reverse. <laughs> oh no. Should we take it to drive? Yeah, but you can't brake. That's all right, I don't need to brake. <laughs> it drove before. Well, I'll, I'll get to drive this time, Mark. Do you know what? One thing, it's not telling me it needs oil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's moving. Oh, oh, we're moving. Oh, we're moving. Oh, we're moving. Does <laughs> <laughs> it cut yeah, out it if it, you brake? I don't know. I'm not trying to brake. I'm not trying to make okay. it cut out. How do I put this light on? I don't know, but it, I don't care because it's driving. <laughs> the car's driving, it's moving. Which it was doing before. <laughs> so let's see if it stops. Yep, yeah, go on then, press the brake. Right, ready? Yeah, it stalled itself. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Ooh, going rev now. See, we can drive it. Just gotta go somewhere place where you don't have to stop. <laughs> But that's how it was doing it before. We haven't done anything. <laughs> no, no, it's broke then, isn't it? Oh. The car is back in the ramp. Now, we think there was some kind of secret procedure when replacing the oil that we didn't do before. So I'm going to take this off, drain it, and then hopefully the procedure works. This is the sump off again. And the oil, not really green but it is better than it was the first time. But at least the engine sump's not leaking, is it? It's dry. Yeah, that's one good thing. Pump it up. What was that song? Matt thinks we didn't run it up to temperature and that's the secret procedure. So yeah. let's see if he was secret. right. Car's coming down. <laughs> right, here we go. Nice and quiet, quiet startup procedure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that was... That's like, what, three hours later? <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like Christmas in here, <laughs> loads of lights. <laughs> Do you think it could be the actuator? So got, yeah, I think it might oh, be Oh, I think it's the actuator, yeah. So now we're going to put the back in. The moment of truth, we put our foot on the brake and it stalls. I think it's going to be the actuator. Well, I ain't got any confidence at the minute that this has cured it. <laughs> Are you ready then? I'm ready. I've got my foot on the brake. Neutral, engine's still running. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Drive. Stopped. <laughs> yes, well, that didn't work. <laughs> we think it's one of two issues, either torque converter or actuator, we got Matt to phone Mercedes and Mercedes have sold how many torque converters? 20 torque converters. In the last two years. And a few thousand actuators. So that says to us, it's more than likely the actuator that's broke. Yeah. But an actuator is 1100 pounds from Mercedes. And it's not telling us on the auto that it's the that actuator the actuator's that's wrong. at fault. So it could be torque converter. For a brand new second-hand gearbox, fully refurbed is a thousand pounds, which has to be coded to the car as well. So that's probably gonna be a better option, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, I think we're gonna to go to the brand new second-hand. Uh, Let's go to the brand new second-hand <laughs> option. <laughs> okay, the gearbox comes next week. So lucky for you, there's gonna be part two of this video. So keep tuned, don't forget to subscribe. And how do we do it? Peace out. Peace out. <laughs>